is amazing. Now we have Gemini Pro version available via Google AI Studio or through Vertex AI platform. Now you can chat with Gemini Pro Vision model, Gemini Pro model, and also get response based on image and text like this. That's exactly what you're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Gemini Pro in Vertex AI. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. So as the first step, you need to sign up for Google Cloud and then add your billing details. Next, in the search box, you can type Vertex AI and directly come to this location. Then you can click the multimodal on the left hand side. Now you can open the prompt design. Here you can add your questions. I'm going to add an image, an image of the plant. I'm going to ask how can I restore this plant? How can I restore this plant? And click the submit button. I can even choose the markdown format. Here is a response. The plant is extremely wilted, but it may be possible to save it. And it gave us the steps. Now I'm going to clear the prompt, add another image of a broken bike. I'm going to ask how can I fix this? And then click the submit button. And you got a response here. You can fix this by welding the broken parts back together. I'm going to add one more final image. This is the empty room. And I'm going to ask what items can I add here? What items can I add in this room? And submit. Now it's generating response. The room is currently very empty. You can add a coffee table, a rug, and some artwork to the walls. You could also add some plants to bring in some life. If you want to make the room more cozy, you could add some throw pillows and blankets to the couch. So you can identify what is in the image and able to give some ideas. This is in regards to the Gemini Pro version. You can even change the temperature, the token limit and other advanced settings here. You have safety settings here. You can click that and able to see the settings and you can change according to your requirement and click the save button. Now we have seen Gemini Pro vision model. Next, we are going to see Gemini Pro text generation model. So to do that, on the left hand side, click on the language. There you can click text prompt. Here I'm going to choose model name is Gemini Pro. So here I'm going to enter a conversation between a customer and an employee. The customer is ordering items from McDonald's. Now we need to convert this unstructured data into a structured format. Let's say a table. So I'm going to ask convert this below data to table format and then clicking the submit button with markdown on. Now we can see it's in the table format with the items and the quantity. You just fed in the conversation and it is able to clearly see the list of items. We can even convert into a JSON format, which can be ready for developers to use directly in their application. So you can see the JSON format order, the list of items and the quantity and also the total price. This is amazing. Just converting unstructured data into a structured data. We can also ask different questions such as generate a meal plan for today, a general questions and it generates the response, breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, write a cover letter and it should be able to write a cover letter for you. Give me five business ideas and it should be able to give ideas by adding extra prompts. You should be able to customize based on your requirement. Now, going to try some coding tasks, create a snake game using Python. And I'm going to click the submit button and it's automatically generating the code for us. Now the code is all generated. I'm going to copy this, paste it in VS code. Next pip install py game to install the package. Then python snake.py to run the game. And I can see the snake game running here. The snake is a bit slow, but it's all working fine. And as soon as I touch the border, the game stopped. So I will give that a pass. At least the game was created and I was able to run this. Next, going to ask, create a tic-tac-toe game using Python and I'm going to click Submit. And it's generating now. I'm going to copy this, paste in VS Code and I need to install NumPy. So going to install NumPy, pip install NumPy, then python tic-tac-toe.py. And it's asking to enter a number. I'm going to enter 0, 2, 1, 1. Second player is playing. 0, 1, 1, 2, 0 and 0. 1, 0. Finally, it says X wins because you can see it's in the same row. So yeah, this, this is a pass. Finally, I'm going to ask, create a space invader game using Python. Click submit. Copying that code, 
pasting it in VS Code. I'm going to run that. It says no player.png found in working directory. Seems like it requires an image. So I added a player.png file and then going to run this again. Python space invader.py. It needs an enemy.png. So I added an enemy.png file on the same folder. Now going to run the same again. Seems like the code is running, but the game is not starting. So I will give this as a fail. So that's it. Now you are able to use Gemini Pro in Google's AI Studio. As simple as that. I'm going to create more videos in regards to Gemini, how to integrate that with the API. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.